What's up, guys? Norman Jerry here, and this is gonna be a brand new vlog number one and vlog number 11 in total. And today, I just want to talk about YouTube, really. Like, how do you guys view YouTube? And how do you subscribe to a channel? Like, why do you subscribe to a channel? Do you subscribe because you like the content? They help you out with something? They're friendly? They're well-known? Um, except for what they're going to do in the future? Like, their future plans? Like, what? Is YouTube to you guys? And with that, social media. Do you like a YouTuber who's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat? Do you like that? Do you want YouTubers to be as social as they can so they could get all thoughts to you guys as often as they can just so they could get to know you and you could get to know them? That you could ask them questions, like have fun with them on like a personal level, that you could talk with them about anything. Or do you want a YouTuber that's really mysterious and you know nothing about? And do you go and follow them on all the social media? Do you just choose like one or something? I know with me, it's kind of give and take. It depends if um, I, I want to know more information from them or something like that. Or why I subscribe to a certain channel. I will subscribe to a certain channel really depending on if they've helped me out, if I like the content, if it relates to what I do on YouTube, and maybe I could get some pointers from them. Like, I subscribe to a bunch of Yugi tubers, Maple tubers, Brave Frontier tubers, just everything that I cover on my channel. And I'm wondering, really, what do you guys like best about my channel? Do you like the content, the personality, the randomness? What do you guys like? So I could kind of cater to that. Like, I made this YouTube channel just so I could do whatever I want and upload it and hope that people like it. Because I play, I used to play games endlessly and mindlessly. And now I found YouTube where I could play those games and get basically paid for it without really needing to worry about like an actual job or anything. So, it's something that I really like doing. And I was subscribed to a channel that... But I was subscribed to a channel that has like 16 subscribers if I like what they're doing. And... If they are on social media, what do you want them to post about? You want them to post about their lives, post about what they're doing on YouTube, what they're doing throughout the day. Do you want them to always keep in touch with you guys as to what's coming next? Or do you just want to just worry about YouTube and just forget all the other social media? Because I need help with this. I have, I fluctuate in the 900 right now with the subscribers. And I'm just wondering, why do I only have like 100 or something um, likes on Facebook? I have 108 likes on Facebook. That's been like that for the longest time. And I wonder, why don't people come out? Do I need to post more? Do I need to talk with more people on Facebook? And Instagram, I have like 96 followers, no, 76 followers. Should I post more about my channel and on Twitter I think I have like 50 or something should you do you want your subscribees or the person you're subscribing to the youtubers to open out to you guys reach out to you guys on social media that's something I've been conflicting with because it's so many different things that you always have to keep on track keep like on top of so I want to know from you guys what do you think are you guys really on social media? Are you guys like post everything you want and then people like it? Do you post certain things that people like it? Do you post things people don't like it? Like what do you guys do? And I would like to know that. 
And if you get back to me, leave a comment down below. Give me some pointers. I would love it. And as usual, guys, I'll catch you later.